right, so now on Lest We Forget Today, as we continue with our focus on accountability and the war on corruption, we want to take you back in time over the last two or three years of the Uhuru Kenyatta administration. And we want you to listen in to various statements he's made on the war on corruption. It started out with him being fairly optimistic in 2015, but by last year at that anti-corruption statement, he was a frustrated man. Take a look at this statement. As a consequence, I also hereby direct that all officials of the national and county governments that are adversely mentioned in this report, whether you are a cabinet secretary, principal secretary, or chief executive of a state institution, to immediately step aside pending conclusion of the investigations of the allegations against them. We set up a multi-agency so, so that we can coordinate our affairs. Still no movement. I sit with the Chief Justice. Please, why don't we expedite this? Still no movement. As Justice Kihara, I've just heard him sitting there saying, I wish that there would be a way. One, two, three, four, five, six, guilty, innocent, if guilty, charged. Nothing. The person who may cause her, many, and I'll be swearing in your new Chief Justice tomorrow. All right, IG, na DCI, semeni ni nini mwekosa? Ambaye imewazuia kuprosecute. Eh, DPP, sijui kama yuko hapa. Eh, ndiyo huyu. Eh, basi sema na wewe ni nini imekosa. Eh, tukupatie. Eh, ndiyo wa Kenya wasiseme mimi na linda. Eh, mimi silindi ufisadi. Ni nini mumeshindwa kufanya kazi yenu. Lest we forget, that is the journey for the Jubilee administration in the war on corruption. From optimism to now frustration to saying he has done everything he possibly could on that. Remember to keep your comments coming in. Our poll continues. Has the president